हेलो रेस्पेक्टेड व्यूअर्स फ्रेंड्स एंड डियर स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू दिस मैथ डिस्कशन चैनल हियर ट्रायंगल ए बी सी इज राइट एंगल ट्रायंगल इट इज गिवन एंड एंगल ए सी बी इज ट्वेंटी सिक्स डिग्री ओ इज द सेंटर ऑफ दिस सेमी सर्कल दिस साइड सी बी इज टेंजेंट एंड टचेस दिस सेमी सर्कल एट दिस पॉइंट टी दिस इज द सेंटर ऑफ द सेमी सर्कल दिस लेंथ ओ डी इज इक्वल टू डी ए एंड वी हैव टू फाइंड द वैल्यू ऑफ एंगल ए बी डी दिस क्वेश्चन इज वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग क्वेश्चन बेस्ड ऑन टेंथ ग्रेड जोमेट्री आई सजेस्ट माई लर्निड व्यूअर्स दैट पॉज दिस वीडियो एंड ट्राई दिस क्वेश्चन वंस एंड इफ दे फाइंड बेटर सोल्यूशन और इन अदर वे a smart or elegant solution they should post that solution in comment section so we have to find the value of angle abd before this we need some constructions so in constructions join ot since radius and the point of contact where the tangent touches the circle if we join radius and tangent and the point of contact will be perpendicular so this is 90 and this is given 90 angle abc is 90 this is 90 so therefore ot and ab are parallel and if we draw a line parallel to ot or parallel to ab from this point d so from this point d i have drawn this line parallel to ab either or this line ot so this is parallel to this or this so all the three lines are parallel by our construction so this is parallel to this and this is 90 so this will also be 90 and this is also 90 let this point be p od is equal to ot since this is the center and od and ot are radii if we join dt so this od and ot are equal so therefore this is an isosceles triangle and hence we can say these two angles are equal in this triangle cto this is 90 this is 26 so this angle is 90 minus 26 and that is equal to 64 to is parallel to ba this is 26 this is 90 these two are corresponding angles so this is 64 no need to do this angle but we can write 64 this is 64 and this is exterior angle and will be sum of these two angles since these two are equal so this is 32 this is 32 32 now since pd is parallel to to so alternate angles will be equal and alternate angles means the corner angles of z pattern so like this if these two lines are parallel and these two lines are parallel so the, these corners will be alternate angles and these two will be equal here 32 is equal to this 32 interior alternate angles are equal now this d is midpoint of ao and dp is parallel to this these three lines are parallel so by equal intercept theorem we can say that since these three lines are parallel and this is equal to this we can say by equal intercept theorem that tp is equal to pb means p is the midpoint of bt it will be like this if three lines are mutually parallel lines and two transversal lines are in this way if this is equal to this then this it will be equal to this suppose this is 3 this is 3 and if it is 5 then this will also be 5 if these three lines are parallel this is equal intercept theorem so these three lines ba pd to are parallel and this od is equal to da 
this is transversal so this transversal tp is equal to pb so this is p point and will be midpoint of bt now consider these two triangles triangle dpt and dpb triangle dpt and triangle dpb first thing that dp is equal to dp common side equal to dp second angle dpt is equal to angle dpb dpt is equal to angle dpb each right angle 90 degree and third by equal intercept theorem pt is equal to pb so by side angle side test these two triangles are congruent to so triangle dpt is congruent to triangle dpb by sas test it means this pdt this angle is equal to pdt is equal to pdb so this is 32 this angle is equal to this angle this is 32 because corresponding angles of congruent angles are equal now these two lines are parallel and this is transversal line once again this is alternate angle alternate to this so since lines are parallel this is transversal so alternate angles are equal so this angle will be 32 therefore angle ABD is equal to 32 degree and this is the required answer.